In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how a non-US resident can set up a California LLC, even if you're halfway across the globe. This video is brought to you by Agent CRM, the ultimate all-in-one software designed for agents and their teams. If you're looking to supercharge your business, Agent CRM has got you covered. From AI-powered schedule bot that helps you fill your calendar effortlessly to comprehensive marketing tools like unlimited funnels, email marketing, and ringless voicemail. Agent CRM is packed with features to streamline operations. With Agent CRM, you get access to powerful automated workflows, preloaded marketing campaigns, and world-class support. Plus, you can start with a free 14-day trial, no sign-up fee, and zero cost to get started. Join over 10,000 satisfied users who have transformed their business with Agent CRM. Head over to the link below or scan the QR code to start your free trial today and take your business to the next level. Hey there, it's Dan X the Win, and I'm here to help you navigate the legal side of your business as your trusted business attorney in California. Welcome back to Legal Tips for Smart Entrepreneurs, where we make legal matters straightforward and accessible for you and your business. Today, we're diving into a topic that many aspiring entrepreneurs are curious about, how to start a LLC in California as a non-resident. Now, you might think it's complicated or even impossible, but here's the good news. Starting an LLC in California as a non-resident is completely within your reach. And let's break down the barriers and get your business up and running in the most dynamic economies in the world. Let's get started. Step one, choose a unique name for your LLC. The first step in starting an LLC in California as a non-resident is choosing a unique name for your business. The name must be distinguishable from existing entities registered in the state. You can check the availability of your desired name on the California Secretary of State's website. Make sure the name ends with LLC or limited liability company to comply with California's naming requirements. Step two, appoint a registered agent. Since you're a non-resident, you'll need to appoint a registered agent based in California. This person or company will receive official documents and legal notices on behalf of your LLC. The registered agent must have a physical address. PO boxes won't cut it. You can hire a professional registered agent service if you don't have a personal contact in California. Step three, file the Articles of Organization. Next up, you'll need to file your Articles of Organization with the California Secretary of State. This document officially registers your LLC with the state. You can file online or by mail, and the fee is currently $70. You'll need to provide your LLC's name, address, registered agent information, and the purpose of your business. Step four, create an operating agreement. Although not required by law, drafting an operating agreement is highly recommended. This internal document outlines how your LLC will be managed, the roles of the members, and how profits and losses will be distributed. It's especially crucial if you have multiple members or partners as it helps prevent misunderstandings down the road. Step five, get an EIN or employer identification number. Whether you're a non-resident or not, your LLC will need an EIN from the IRS. This number is like a social security number for your business. It's required for filing taxes, opening a business bank account, and hiring employees. You can apply for an EIN online through the IRS website, and the process is fairly straightforward. Comply with California tax requirements. Finally, you'll need to meet California's tax obligations. California requires LLCs to pay an annual minimum franchise tax of $800. Additionally, depending on your LLC's income, you may need to pay gross receipts tax. Be sure to stay on top of these payments to avoid penalties. And that's it. While the process of starting an LLC in California as a non-resident may seem daunting, follow these steps and you will be set up for success. If you have any specific questions or need personalized advice, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for tuning in to Legal Tips for Smart Entrepreneurs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Leave your questions and comments below. 
I'm always here to help you navigate the legal side of your business with ease. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered.